This video demonstration will walk you through using FeedBurner to set up a feed to Twitter so that your blog's feeds will auto post on Twitter. Using Google's FeedBurner to set up your blog feed to Twitter means you do not have to use a WordPress plugin like TwitMe or some of these other plugins to publish your uh, posts to Twitter automatically. Uh, leveraging Google FeedBurner is also useful because of the additional features and options Google FeedBurner has for you. The first thing you want to do is log into Google FeedBurner and select your first feed that you want to promote uh, on Twitter. In this case, I'll choose my dragonblogger.com feed. You'll then select the publicize tab and the new socialize button. Here you'll set up your Twitter account. You'll click on add Twitter account and you'll authenticate to Twitter. When you do that with your Twitter account, you will want to make sure that you're not logged into Twitter with your browser. If you are, you'll only be stuck using one Twitter account, which if you're not logged into Twitter, then you'll be asked to authenticate every single time and you could choose multiple Twitter accounts to authenticate to and add to your Google profile. In this case, I've added several Twitter profiles. So what you want to do is set the profile you want to set this feed to. So I want my dragonblogger.com feed to go to my dragonblogger Twitter account. Here you can choose uh, whether or not you want the post title only in the feed or title and summary or body only. It's good to use just your title of your post. Include the link, of course, so people can click on something to go to your, to your site. Uh, you want to leave room for retweets, and it has a smart uh, shrinking so that it will uh, leave enough room so that people can do old-fashioned retweets. I like the idea of creating hashtags from item categories. And what that does is it shows you, it creates uh, hashtags based on a few of your item categories. I think the first ones that are used and that fit into your feed. This way you can possibly join existing trends or even start your own trends on Twitter. I think hashtags are useful for your feeds. Also, you can set a little additional text that appears either at the beginning or the end of your feed. I like adding my site URL name just so people can see the visibility of my site. So on my feeds, you'll see dragonblogger.com, finding more technology articles. And then it has the uh, Google's URL shrunk, which is the new goo.gl and then uh, the feed tags, uh, the hashtags for your feed. Uh, for item limit, I usually leave it at five new items per feed because I don't do that posts that often. Uh, I do maybe one or two posts per day, so I only need uh, a handful to go out. If you're a heavily uh, promoting website, you do articles all the time, you may wanna go up to eight uh, new articles per feed. Also, if you want, you can do keyword filters based on your categories. Say I only want to have technology articles going on my feed. I could do a filter for technology and only articles in my technology category will go into my feed. This is ideal if you run multiple Twitter accounts and you want to only post technology to one, entertainment to another, news to another. You can filter out what feeds to your Twitter account with the keyword filter. If you have a magazine style website though, what you're going to want to do is set up multiple Twitter feeds for that same site, and then you can create different uh, keyword filters on the publicized tab and then publish those filtered feeds to each Twitter account. After you've selected your options, make sure that you click on the save button and activate button. It'll be activate first and then save to make sure your updates take effect. And then all you need to do is go back to your my feeds and continue the rest with your next uh, feed account. Like, you know, select the chef's cookbook, select the Twitter, uh, publicize, then socialize. I want this to publish to the chef's cookbook, Twitter account. I would, I would have added it, click title, set what I want for the, ha for the, um, additional text, select the hashtags and then, uh, activate it and save it and continue to repeat this process for all your feeds that you want to publish on Twitter. This is a dragon blogger video demonstration. I hope you enjoyed it.